<clears throat> well, good evening, everyone. It's Pastor Chris here. It is 6 o'clock, and it is our normal prayer time. So if you are joining with us, we are thankful that you have uh, decided to take some time to spend time with prayer with us. Uh, I, I just have some few announcements that I'm going to do before we, uh, we actually get started. So uh, just a couple of things that are going on in the life of our church. Uh, we have small groups that have started up. Uh, we have uh, several different small groups. I know so I see people may be hopping on. Go ahead and say hi to me. And also remember, if you have any prayer requests, please leave them in the comments section so that we can be uh, lifting you up in prayer. I know as you know, your pastor, one of the things that I love is knowing that I'm able to be in prayer for you and know what's happening uh, with, with what's going on with you, especially as we're still kind of in the mix between in-person and still online worship and everything. So say hi and let me know that you're with us and uh, leave any prayer requests that you have. Uh, announcements that we have uh, going on, we have small groups that have started. We have multiple ones. If you go to FUMC RoyceCity.life, you can see the list of all of the uh, prayer requests that we have. Uh, so invite you uh, the fall studies that we have going on. So I invite you to get plugged in with the different studies that we have in our church. I know I've started uh, officially today our uh, Old Testament study called uh, the Epic of Eden. Uh, and it's going to be a entire look at the Old Testament, connecting the Old Testament with the New Testament. Uh, that'll be on Wednesday mornings at 10 o'clock. And right now we're doing that by Zoom. Uh, so if you are interested, go to our fall studies link on our website so you can uh, find all those studies available to you. Uh, other things, uh, we have uh, getting ready to do our third week of uh, in-person worship. And will be really helpful if you will go uh, also to our website, fumcroycity.life and uh, go ahead and fill out the reopening tab that's there. Uh, let us know that you're planning on coming on Sunday so we can make sure that we, are, we, are, we can uh, prepare for you and we know that you're coming to worship with us this Sunday. Uh, I'm excited. Last Sunday we got to celebrate our confirmands. This Sunday we are celebrating our third graders. Uh, we are going to be handing out our third grade Bibles um, to those students that are uh, will be there in worship with us. And Ms. Wanda will make sure those that aren't able to attend or will uh, receive their third grade Bibles. I love third grade Bible Sunday. I still remember uh, my third grade Bible back uh, from our Redeemer Lutheran uh, Church in Hutchinson, Kansas, uh, getting my third grade Bible. I have it in my office. It's a yellow, a goldish, good news Bible Bible. And uh, that's sitting up in, in my office, and I, I love looking at that. Hey, Sandy, how are you? It's good to see you, sweetie. Um, other things that are going on, you know, were you just rocking and rolling? Great things happening with our Daily Bread Food Pantry. Thank you to all of our volunteers and uh, other things. You know, I, I'm seeing around town or uh, around the Metroplex area uh, churches that are reopening their uh, food pantries. And I'm just, I'm just so thankful that during the midst of this COVID-19 stuff, we have uh, been able to continue to uh, be in ministry and provide food for families uh, in our community. And that's because of you and all that you are able to do. So thank you for your continued support. Uh, oh, 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 exciting news. Uh, I know April's gonna be mentioning this on Sunday morning. But we as a church, we are talking about having a trunk or treat on Halloween. I know uh, Halloween is up for, up for grabs, whether or not uh, people will be doing that. But we are going to have a trunk or treat on our church property on, on Halloween. So that's a Saturday, I believe, October the 31st. We'll have more information on our website uh, for you to do that, to sign up, to have a spot. Uh, I know that we'll need to have a lots and lots of candy for that. So uh, those are all of the announcements that I can think of. Again, you see that Chris Wyatt is having knee replacement surgery on Monday, so blessings to him. Uh, if you have any prayer requests or if you just want to say hi, please uh, feel free to say hi in the comment section so I know that you're here. And we are going to go ahead and get started with our prayer. Our prayer that we're using for tonight is from the uh, app, The Daily Office. And this is an app that I 
uh, love, loves you. Of course, Heather Sims will love a trunk or treat. Yes, Heather. So decorate up your car and bring it out. Lots of candy for our kiddos. Awesome. So uh, let us join together and go to God in prayer. Would you please pray with me? Thine is the day, thine also the night. Thou have established the luminaries and the sun. Thou have fixed all the bounds of the earth. Thou hast made summer and winter. We're going to start off tonight by singing Mighty to Save. Everyone needs compassion, love that's never failing. Let Kindness of the Savior, the hope of nations. Savior, He can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation. time to silently confess our sins to God. Would you join me silently? Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. 
We have left undone these things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare us those who confess their faults. Restore those who are repentant. According to your promises, declare to mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord, and grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. I receive this absolution. May God Almighty have mercy on us. Forgive us of our sins through Jesus Christ our Lord, and the strength and strengthen us to live in the power of the Holy Spirit all our days. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let us pray. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Amen. I just wanted to pick a, a scripture today. I, uh, some of you know that uh, Wednesdays I participate in a uh, fast uh, done by uh, the Daily Text at Seedved, and I get an email every week to remind me, hey, it's Wednesday tomorrow, so you better fast. And uh, really enjoyed doing that. And, and something that has really spoken to me uh, over the past several weeks, for actually 17 weeks, uh, we're looking at uh, John chapter 15, verses 1 through 17. So I thought I would read that as our scripture for this evening. Jesus says, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you, just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me, and my word abides in you, ask for whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because the servant does not know what the master is doing, but I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last so that the Father's will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. And I want to go back real quick and just remind us of this one verse, uh, verse 9, and just love, love this verse. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. And that's such a beautiful passage to know that, that the Father loves Jesus so much. And that same love that the Father has given to Jesus, Jesus loves us, each and every one of us. So, so we live in that love. We abide in that love. And abiding in that love is just the place where we need to be. And I don't know about you, but you know, with the world that we live in now, with COVID-19, with uh, the political strife that we see going on, with all of the wonderful uh, debates going on Facebook or Twitter or whatever, it's good just to pause, take a breath, and abide in God's love. Isn't that great?
Amen. Uh, speaking of abiding in God's love, our next song is an old hymn. It's one that uh, my college choir sang uh, when we tour. Is my Jesus, I love thee. My Jesus, I love thee. I know thou art mine. For thee all the follies of sin I resign. My gracious Redeemer, my Savior art thou. If ever I love thee, my Jesus is now. I love thee because thou hast first loved me and purchased my pardon on Calvary's tree. I love thee for wearing the thorns on my brow. If ever I love thee, my Jesus is now. I love thee in life, I will love thee in death, and praise thee as long as thou lendest me breath, and say when the death do lies cold on my if ever I love thee, my Jesus is now. In mansions of glory and endless delight, I'll I'll sing with the glittering crown on my brow. If ever I love thee, my Jesus is now. If ever I love thee, my Jesus us to his now. Let us now confirm our faith as we say together the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. As you move into our time of prayer, again, if you have any prayer requests, please take a moment and leave them in the comments section. Uh, I have a couple of prayers to lift up uh, that I know of. Well, we had some uh, members of our church that had uh, medical procedures, and they are uh, doing well with uh, their recoveries. Of course, we uh, continue to lift up those who are 
uh, recovering from the hurricanes. I know Hurricane uh, Sally uh, hit landfall this morning and is moving its way. It's no longer a hurricane anymore. So for those families that are in the path of, of hurricane or tropical storm Sandy now. And also we continue to lift up those uh, up in uh, California and Oregon dealing with all of the wildfires uh, that is there. One of our church members, Craig Westwood, who is a fire, to fire uh, captain, I believe is a captain now, uh, in Plano, he has uh, gone out to uh, California to uh, help fight the wildfires out there. So we pray for all the firemen and women and those that are out there uh, dealing with the fires and for those that have lost uh, lost uh, property and life uh, out there in California. Uh, you see Heather's prayers for Ted Collins who is at Baylor getting a CT scan. He fell and, he hit, fell and hit his head today. Yes, Heather, we will add uh, your Uncle Ted to our prayers. Uh, Sandy mentioned earlier Chris Wyatt, who was a member of our church, who's now in the Kansas City area. He's having a knee replacement on Monday. Uh, Lindsay told me uh, this morning during our Bible study that Andrew's boss's dad uh, passed away uh, with COVID-19. Uh, so we uh, lift up him and uh, others who have lost loved ones to COVID-19. And just for the possibility of a vaccine hopefully coming soon and having some normalization into our our life again so with those prayers that we have in our hearts and our minds i invite you to take a moment just to still yourself and we'll lift up our prayers i'll say a statement and say lord in your mercy I invite you to respond with hear our prayer let us go to god in prayer Make your ways known upon the earth, Lord God, your saving power among all peoples. Renew your church in holiness and help us to serve you with joy. Guide the leaders of all nations that justice may prevail throughout the world. Let not the needy be forgotten nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Make us instruments of your peace and let your glory be over all the earth. And Lord, as we spend this time together, we pray for the universal church, its members and its mission. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the nation and all in authority, especially those dealing with COVID-19, dealing with uh, the hurricanes and tropical storms, dealing with the wildfires out west. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the welfare of the world, that peace may reign and that those who are dealing with illness become have healing poured out upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the concerns of this local community. We lift up Ted to you. We lift up Chris to you. We lift up uh, Andrew's boss's dad, family to you upon the death of his dad. We lift up those in our church who have had medical procedures recently and recovering. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for those who suffer and for those who are in trouble. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way Kindle our hearts and awaken hope that we may know you as you were revealed in scripture and the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love, as together we pray the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We're going to close with a song that it's is an old, old song. It's an old, old song. 1988. That was before I graduated from high school. Um, so it's old enough for me. Uh, but... Um, it's a song that I sang a lot in college and um, my, my young adult life. And 
just helps me focus on the name of Jesus and how much he loves each and every one of us. Thank you for joining me this evening. I hope you were blessed by our time together. And it's still not too late. If you have any prayer requests, please uh, leave them in the comments section. So I'll, I'll look it over and we'll be in prayer for those that we lift up. A couple of quick reminders. Fall studies have started, but it's not too late to get involved. I know we have one that's getting started tomorrow night called Alpha. Uh, everything is on our website, fumcroycity.life, for you to sign up. Uh, also, there's another tab there for reopening. If you would like to uh, come uh, worship, please fill that out just so we can make sure that we are prepared for those who are coming to worship with us in person on Sunday mornings. Well, that's all I got for tonight, so I will let you all go and have a beautiful evening, and we will see you Sunday morning either in the sanctuary at 8.30 and 11 or online at, F at um, on right here at the Facebook Live, YouTube. Uh, you go to our website again. There's a blue link up on top that will tell you how you can tune into our worship services. So receive this benediction as we close for the evening. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Go in peace and we'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.